Medicine has a blind spot and it's called sleep. We spend a third of our lives in bed. Yet most of modern medicine acts like the night doesn't matter. Sure, sleep medicine exists. But tell me this, when was the last time your doctor asked how you actually sleep? The truth is, what happens at night defines how you function by day. That includes fragile things like erections, like desire. You want answers nobody gives? They are hidden in the dark. And urology? Apart from a few nods to sleep apnea, nighttime health isn't even on the agenda. It's the blind spot. And I am here to change that. This is the first episode of a new playlist. I call it Urology Noir. In this series, I fuse science and clinical experience to explore how sleep affects sexual health. You'll learn how to improve your sleep quality. Why? Because high quality sleep is medical therapy. Some of it might sound strange. Some of it might feel obvious in retrospect, but most of it, you've never heard it before. And it might just change everything. I'm Dr. Stefan Buntrock, board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. Now, why is sleep important for desire? Before we go there, let me ask you this. Why do we sleep at all? We all take it for granted, but if you didn't sleep at all for a prolonged time, it would threaten your life. And the science backs this up. It means something life-saving happens at night. It goes beyond rest and dreams, repair, regulation, reconnection. This is what really happens. And for some men, the return of something they thought they lost. At the center of it all, there is REM. Which reminds me to remember you to subscribe to Euro channel and give this video a like. It's like a digital round of applause, a small gesture that tells me you value this content. If you are not yet a member or used to be, this is your chance to remember yourself. It's the join button on my channel homepage. Thank you. But what is REM anyway? Rapid eye movement, a funny phenomenon while you sleep. Several times per night, your eyes start to move from side to side in fast succession. See, sleep consists of several stages. It's not just being unconscious. While you sleep, your brain is highly active without you noticing it. You dream while in REM, but this is not all. It is in REM, your emotions are being processed. Your memory is recalibrated. I'm sure you have noticed that if you memorize something before going to bed, it sticks like glue the next day. There is fine tuning of hormones and maintenance of the amygdala. I'm quite sure you've never heard of these structures. In plain English, the amygdala, Latin for almonds, are deep inside your brain's emotional core. The limbic system is a network of neural centers in your brain you don't want to be without. Among others, sexual desire lives here. That's the missing piece. Sexual desire needs a neural framework. Testosterone is vital for sexual desire, but it only works under one condition, when the framework is not compromised. This is the very reason why men with normal testosterone levels may suffer from low libido. Now that you know this, you understand why testosterone supplementation is not the right move in many cases Men with low libido often are put on testosterone despite normal levels. Does it help? Of course not. If the engine of your car is broken, more oil won't make it run again. Everybody understands that. So if REM is the engine, what is the ignition? It's the parasympathetic nervous system. Our nervous system operates on two different modes somewhere in the background. The relaxing part is called the parasympathetic nervous system. The activating branch bears the name sympathetic nervous system. You need both. But the night belongs to the parasympathetic nervous system. Any sympathetic activity during that period interferes with vital functions. I give you an example. Pressing or grinding your teeth at night. A common phenomenon. Many men do it. It leads to micro-awakenings without you noticing. It triggers sympathetic activity and disrupts REM sleep. 
Urology Noir is about these rather unknown connections. These are my topics, low libido, erectile dysfunction, pelvic pain, peeing at night, and weak urinary stream at night. It's all there, hidden in the dark. I suggest for now you should set up a sleep routine that gives you at least seven hours of undisturbed sleep every night, starting at the same time. As we go along, I'll address more of these unknowns. Sleeping position, for example. You know, the internet is a swamp, but I'm here to guide you. Follow me, I know the way.